Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is your July tape. And the reason that it's your July tape is because that's the date I picked. Um, actually, it's uh, ooh, September the 25th. Actually, this is your September tape. Because it's present moment, I'll catch up on the backlog of tapes as I'm rolling along here. Working with some different equipment, working with some new tapes. Seeing how everything works. <clears throat> Hoping to bring you a better quality uh, as you relax there in your home. So we've been working on making that a reality so that we always have the best. One of those important things. Okay. Well, it's a lovely day. Temperatures, ooh, pretty warm. Yesterday was 93. Summer is really extending itself out here in uh, California. Uh, I'm getting ready to be on tour once again. <laughs> Just got home last night. It's wonderful to be home, and I've been noticing how wonderful it is to travel. And I know sometimes people say to me, and... And Jessica, like, gee, you know, like, don't you get tired of that? And I think about it just for a split second, because I stay in present moment, and I go, well, no. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be doing something else. Um, occasionally, you'll hear a vehicle come by. I'm uh, fairly high here. Just kind of hanging out. Cars occasionally come by, do different things. Ah, it's so nice out. Just kind of playing around and hanging out. Kind of rolling out into this talk with you. Kind of figured I'd be talking about present moment. And do I get tired of traveling? And do we get tired of traveling? And I began to observe that just within the understanding of traveling alone, there were a lot of things that I, I followed within my basic teaching. So I began to understand that the teaching is just basically as good as you doing it, day in, day out, moment in, moment out, second in, second out. And all of the things that you discover along your pathway to enhance you see, you know, the things that are going on in you, are designed to give you those insights. And I found that living them... It's real important, so I would take like every little tiny question that would come along to me and I would see how I would respond. And because one of the questions most asked of me was, um, don't you get tired of traveling? And I'm, you know, just pausing here as I travel. I thought I would just kind of address that and take it as a teaching tool as to how I live my life. And, you know, I, I basically follow Jesus' thing. So it, it's about using examples like in everyday reality... As an everyday person, you know, because that's all we really are. And then as a divine person, because that's what we're all working at. I mean, isn't that true? And then as a feeling person, because we all have that to do also. By giving examples of like everyday things, you know, of let's just say things that happen to me um, a lot. Uh, it's a question that is asked me a lot. Um, just take a question that is asked of you a lot doesn't really matter what it is. And then look and see how you evaluate yourself on, on the different levels. Now, you've been learning to be a multidimensional being. And within these multidimensional being things, um, you begin to take your everyday examples and observe how they work for you, how they manifest for you, how they can change your reality. Okay, so the question asked, asked of me a lot is, um, say, don't you get tired of traveling? Okay, well, the first thing applies, and that is being in the moment to hear exactly what part does that personality want to hear from me, Dennis, the person, Dennis, the, the emanation of feeling, so that there's a communication on that subtle level. And what does the divine essence want? And so, therefore, by being in, or what is it looking for, not what does it want, what is it creating? And so the first thing I do as, a, as, as all of these essences is, is hear the question. 
it's not just, oh no, not that question again, or oh no, I've heard this one a zillion times. I never go into that mode, ever. That's what you're working on, on yourself to not do. You're working on yourself to stay in present moment. Don't have a thought just because that question is asked of you a lot. If you have a thought, oh no, here it comes again. Gee, when will I ever stop asking me that question? If you even have thoughts like that, and that would apply to anything that happens to you because certain questions that are asked of us a lot, you know, it, it's like we do get tired of hearing it. And yet, we don't, because I don't take it personally. So as soon as I hear the question, I go, all right, this present moment, what do I feel right here, right now? Now, if I had any other thoughts, um, in other words, geez, don't I get tired of hearing that? I have created a picture. I have created uh, a concept, and I have gotten myself in a rut. Um, I'm bored with hearing this question. Therefore, what is it that is outside of myself that I'm perceiving that is coming back to me? In other words, it's never outside of yourself. Why is this question being asked of you continuously? Okay. And, hey, start with that example. If you're, if you're running out of things to do with yourself to learn how to, to, learn, how to learn, you see what it is. It, what question is asked of you most? Whether it's a work question or a home question or a fun question or an unrelated question to your realities at all, whatever it is, that's you having the world reflect back to you because you're God and you're manifesting all the time. You're having this question reflected back to you continuously so that you can see in yourself what it is that you are asking of yourself. See, that's important. So if people are asking you a, a question over and over, or you notice a question that's being asked of you more than others, pay attention to that. What is it that is coming, that you are manifesting out there, that is coming back to you in a form of a question? Okay. Now, if you have pictures on that, you know, like, oh no, here comes that question again. What is your resistance? Or what is it that you're so strong on? that makes you get tired of hearing that question. If your buttons get pushed when you hear the question, like, oh no, not again, aren't these people paying attention? Then maybe you need to pay attention. If you're getting frustrated with yourself because something is coming back to you, then you need to pay attention to that. There is something going on with you. You need to learn from that. Okay, now, so I notice that I'm in the moment, I hear the question, I don't go back to the answer that I had the last time that I was asked that question. I respond exactly how I feel in the moment after the question, allowing that individual to complete the question before I, you know, go into what do I perceive, because I want to hear all of the question. So I stay in the present moment. Now I've got that present moment coming in, and I tune into myself, okay? Here's, here's the example. It's here and now. I'm not going to use an example from one split second before this. I'm here and now. Here's the example. I just dropped the tape recorder. Hang on. See? Well, that was, an, that was a perfect example. I don't know of what, but hang in there. I'm sure one will come along. Now, as we hang here in this present moment, and if I fluctuate in my voice up and down on this tape a little bit, it's, I'm still working with this microphone. I'm still trying to, to get all these things happening. Now, here I am. I'm in the present moment. I just heard all of you ask me, yeah, really, Dennis, don't you get tired of traveling? Well, as a matter of fact, I don't. I um, have learned it through traveling that um, I have no attachments. And so I began to use um, traveling as a healing tool um, because love is everywhere. I'm capable of feeling love everywhere I go. See, it's, it's like I've looked at the reality that I create. What do I do for me, Dennis, as a person? I go out and I travel and I teach. Okay, that's what I do as a person. That's what I do. How does that work as a personality work for me? Well, 
I, I make a living. I see everywhere I want to see. I pay all my bills. I have the few things that make me happy. And I'm, I'm excited to, to be alive and doing this. Okay? In that feeling body, there's that excitement. You know, it's a joy for me to go out and meet a bunch of people who enjoy doing what I do. See, the reason that I enjoy doing my work is teaching, and I perceive that from what it is that I teach, people benefit, people grow, people um, take things that they have heard, they apply it to their life, and they grow from it. And I think that's exciting, because it's your growth and what you've applied. I get the feeling and the enjoyment of watching you wake up to your divinity. I get the excitement of seeing you enjoy that thing that you came to hear about. That's my feeling body, having that experience. And then my divinity, because that's another part of my aspect. I travel because I surround myself with different people all of the time experiencing God and talking God and loving God and most important being God you are all being God that expression is what I see back in my reality as this divine essence working on itself I know that what I put out every second is what perpetuates my eternity I've looked at the years that I've spent within my life working on myself in a divine way and, and growing and meditating and, and praying and creating and, and studying and going within and going without and, and bringing it all together. I began to notice that now, in this moment, as I look around, here I am on top of a mountain that is bringing joy to my heart that's refreshing my being, and yet it is no more important here to me than anywhere out there when I'm with all of you. And I've observed that within the last several years, I am continuously, day in and day out, in a divine way, around people continuously who love me, who I love back, who share with me, who I share with back, who taught God with me, who I taught God back. And my divine and everyday and feeling bodies, I have constantly surrounded myself with as much love and as much divinity and as many forms all saying and believing the same thing that I perceive within myself and I perceive within you. And as I look at the thing that I teach, it's never outside of yourself. I look outside of myself, and what I see is this. And I get excited in this moment. Because I can see this just by the question, Hey, do you mind traveling? No, I don't mind traveling anywhere. Whether it be to the Midwest, whether it be to the West whether it be to the farther, farthest extensions of the galaxies and back, whether I travel to the innermost essence of my divinity and back, I love all of the traveling on all of the levels to all of the places with all of my heart. Or I would be doing something else. That's my picture. That's my reality. That's my world in this split second. And I'm sharing it with you right here, right now, in this moment from on top of the world. What a joy. Just being there. Being here now. Now within this picture... As you all know, there are many other pictures, other levels. Let me, let me kind of cross-reference cross these using this complete example. 
I just arrived in from Seattle, Washington last night. I'd just been the weekend before that uh, doing a, uh, an expo and the weekend before that doing Phoenix and, the, and the, all of the days before that, you know, doing all of the previews and in another day or two, now that I've been home for one day or two, and I'll be down in the Sacramento doing that and traveling there and then L.A. And, and all around and it's like I stay so in the present moment that I guess that's where I'm heading <laughs> it's not even um, something I think about so sometimes when people you know say well you know do you mind traveling they figure they figure, people, same as people ask you questions. Now, we'll watch your relationship within here. When people ask you questions, sometimes they're perceiving the reality that you exist when exist in completely different than the realities that they exist with, within. When you give your explanation to people as to the answer of a question, because you're in present moment, you're going to notice that you can give a quick expression to the individual that you know they are, just like you deal with different people de differently. You know, you act different for people differently. Because you are becoming a multidimensional being and you are staying in present time, when you give your response to a person, you give it back from the heart. It's like, a lot of you notice I have a tendency to talk because I love to express and be creative and so you'll ask me something I'll give you really <laughs> sometimes a long lengthy answer but it's like it comes from my heart it comes from my feeling it comes from my truth it comes from my instantaneous experience of all things to that split second in time of who I am right then and there and how I can help you how I can move that energy to support you in truly giving you whatever it is that you have asked and by being in present time, you will do that in response to the question that is asked you. Come from your heart. Begin to understand that if you are asking yourself through other people a certain question um, over and over, you need to run through who you are and what you are about and look out and perceive yourself. Don't try to understand yourself and make new pictures of yourself. Try to perceive yourself by being in the moment and see why it is that you're having this question asked of yourself over and over and sort of play with it. But basically, whatever you do, be in the moment when the question is asked of you and just sort of notice that, wow, this is a question that people have been asking me. I can perceive this. Let me see in some depth here while I'm in each present moment where this is taking me. Where am I going with this? Share back with them a feeling of expression, giving them what you really believe they want to hear from you, because you know what will happen then? They'll give you a response back, once again, because the answer is never outside of yourself, but sometimes as we work, we have to express it outside of our first, outside of ourself first, so that we can see it as it comes back. So as you give your clear answer and you give your clear feeling to the, to the present time answer of that question, Look to see what sort of a response comes back from that clarity. And then you'll be able to tune in and see what it is from inside of yourself that you are looking for in the reason that you are having these people or places or things repeat a certain experience to you over and over again. This is how we learn. This is how we learn about ourselves. Then we look to see if we've applied all of the things that we're learning. Did we stay in present time when we were dealing with all of this material? Well, okay, yes. Okay, were we coming from the truth? Okay, yes. All right. Were we, were we being aware of the obvious? We, were we aware of the fact that by people asking us questions a lot of times and repetitions that this is really 
never outside of ourselves. So this is something that we're we're working on. This is something that we're we're growing from. Okay, and so the, we're reflecting our world back to us in a repetition, so that we can see something, grow with this, learn from this. Are we being aware of the obvious? Yes. Okay, good. Are we seeing <clears throat> the repetition of something coming back to us? Repetition, 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 repetition. Yes, we're working on it. We're seeing it. We're seeing that that universe is working for us. Okay, so now we've we've cross-referenced a lot of different things. Um, um, are we taking it personally? Did, when a question come up again, like, oh no, why are they asking me this? Or did we have a picture that flashed into our head that came from the past when we were asked the question? Okay, then that picture that came up in the past, do we have an attachment to that picture? See, you don't have to go searching for pictures. They're right there two inches from your nose. Okay, I've got the two inches from my nose covered now. Okay, good. Okay, so I've got that one covered. Okay, now I'm still working. I'm still looking for different things. Okay, when this thing was said to me, okay, those are physical things. When this thing was said to me, uh, when the question was said to me, did I go into anger? Was I an emotional body? Okay, all right. Whoa, now I can see that I've got an emotional charge. I've got a judgment. Holy cow. Um, I have a charge on something. I've made a judgment. Something's right or wrong, good or bad. These are the pictures that I want to clear up. What is this picture that popped up into my head? Was it something that took me out of present time? Okay, I had a judgment. I had an assumption. I had an observation. I had a perception. Whatever it is, it wasn't right. It wasn't wrong. It was a perception. It was a flash for you to grow and learn from. All right, did you stay out of guilt? All right, that was an emotion. Did you stay out of judgment? All right, that was in the emotional stuff. Okay, so besides the physical plane, you're now working out those emotional things. So now we're coming from the emotional body. See now that, how that works with just this one picture of this one thing coming back at you. Okay, so did you go into judgment? Okay, well, that was your emotional body. So basically, now you're starting to see how your multidimensional self works, just from a simple example. Okay, did you go into depression? Hmm. Did you blame something? Whoa. Did you go into the past? Okay. Why did you slip out of present moment? See what it is that attracted you. That attraction is something you can let go of if it's not serving you. To take you out of present moment, anything that's not of the light doesn't serve you. You're going for your divinity. You're going for your God. You're going for clarity within that oneness. Okay. Check it out. So you don't have to chase things down. They're coming up to you all the time. Whenever you need something, bingo, there it is. There's an example in the universe. It's never outside of yourself. It's happening every split second. Did you feel it? Did you sense it? Were you aware of it? Okay. Hey, awareness. You're being aware of the awareness. You're observing observations. You're observing things that go on. You're paying attention. You're learning to pay attention. You're staying close within that present moment. All these things are now starting to work for you. You can do all those things within a split second. You're aware of all those things. Okay, then the mental body. Hey, is it starting to think? Oh, wow, is it making judgments? Is it making judgments? Is it still listening to the question? Has it not been able to snap back into present time? Has it bought in to the scenario of, damn, why don't they go bother somebody else with all of this stuff? Now, how much energy are you expelling out to other individuals? Now, in present time, pay attention. What do you got going out? Were you able to clear yourself? Were you able to get back into present time? Recenter yourself. Not take it personally. Avoid the confrontation, regardless what it is. Remember, whatever it is, don't take it personally. If you don't take it personally, you don't have to have that response coming back to you in the future. If you don't take it personally, you can just mellow out. You can chill out behind it. You can see that whatever it was, you've got it coming. It's something from whatever your actions in the past were. They're now in your present phase. Don't take it personally. Let it go. Don't judge it. And it's clear and it's out of there. Hey, that's a trip thing. You know, it's clear and it is out of there. All right, so you see how these little tiny examples can work in your life. You know, you want these examples to work for you. You want these examples to give you checklists to see how it is that you're doing. How is it that you're doing? Okay, now, what about the God stuff? You know, hey, how long did it take you to keep thinking about God? 
why you got wrapped up in the conversation. How long did it take you to realize that you were out of present time and it took you time to get into present time? How long did it take you for the divinity to see the beauty and the magnificence of the example when you just flowed with it? Your essence of being responded with joy. It gave with clarity. It stayed in the present moment. It perceived the, the understanding of the repetition of the question. It didn't take anything personally. It saw the true learning lesson that was there. It was able to bridge time. It was able to be the past, the present, and the future all simultaneously. You're not trying to work for things. You're just trying to be in the flow when you get into present moment. The essence of perceiving, of knowing, of caring, of sharing with another human being on the planet. A moment in time, that person asked you a question. And because you were truly there, you shared a moment in time. You shared a communion from your higher self with another human being. That's why you're working on staying in present time. You have shared that moment in time and space consciously with another human being. You have sent out an essence of love and caring and divinity and perception of awareness in a present moment that has gone out with such a way that your essence knew that you were there, knew that you were truly there. It knew that you were truly experiencing all that you could possibly get. On the divine side, you could just feel the waves of purity of love without attachments or concepts or, or conceived ideas. Just pure essence rolling through you. And in the return of that, because you are aware of all of these things on all of these levels as you hold to the true godness that you are and become the being of situations and not the concepts of situations. As you become the recipient of all that there is through your expression of divinity. You get to see the God essence and the other being respond back to you regardless what level they think they're responding at, even if they look confused in the physical. You are seeing and witnessing the expression of God, the essence of which you glorify, that being in which you share that one true essence. And all things are you, and you are all things, as that creative, loving spirit aspect wholeness expresses its love and caring as godness through you. All right. Um, I see that the tape is, uh, is coming to an end on this side, so let me just kind of uh, zoom ahead here, and um, I'll catch you on the other side. Blessings.